Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Pokemon Sword, The Crown Tundra. I'm just going to take a drink of this Red Bull. I've only had one today, so that's actually pretty good for me. Usually I'm about three in at this point. Anyway, in the last episode, we caught Terrakian, and uh, we actually have everything we need now for Virazon. So, let's go back to Sonya and uh, let her know that, one, we've caught Terrakian, and two, <clears throat> we've got the footprints for Virazon. No way, that... Isn't that the cavern Pokemon, Terrakian? Bang up job, Mastraff. I knew you could do it. Ah, oh, sugar, there I go again. You really wanted to say shit, didn't you, Sonya? You did. You did. <sighs> Nintendo game can't say shit. But it's so hard to contain my excitement. Here, take this for giving me the chance to see this legendary Pokemon in the flesh. Nice! That's better. Ten medium experience candies. There's just one more legendary we haven't tracked down yet. So hop to it. You've got this. Right, well, first thing I'm bloody doing is I'm using those candies. Much appreciated. Uh, ribbons. Okay, let's give you five and see how, where that puts you in the levels. Wow, nowhere near. Okay. You can have the rest of them then. There you go. 78. So there you go. Ribbons is... Blizzard has shown up as well. Sod it. I can't get... For some reason, Ice Beam seems to be eluding me. Let's use... Let's get Blizzard. Replace Calm Mind with Blizzard. There you go. Blizzard. For the time being. We'll get Blizzard. Alright. Work your magic, Sonya. I'm getting... Um, we're getting the Grassland Pokemon next. You've gathered 100% of the data needed to track the Grassland Pokemon. This should be enough data for us to pin down where it usually lives. You jitter around, you. The data in your trusty Pokemon Finder. Searching for energy signatures. And... Oh, sorry, mate. Can't find one. Oh, no. Of course we found one. <laughs> where is it, then? The Grassland Pokemon can be found in the Giant's Bed. You'll finally get to come face to face with the legendary Pokemon we've been searching for. Best of luck, Mastrath. Alright, the Pokemon that I'm going to be using for um, Virazon or Virizion, I don't know. I'll find out how you pronounce that. Uh, I'm going to use Soroka D on this one. Oh, it's no, stop with the bleed. Night and move in. No! Get off. I'm going to use Soroka D here. <clears throat> Soroka D, obviously, great defense. Pretty much resist or. Do normal damage for most of Virizion's attacks. Or Vir Virizion, I don't know. Giant's bed. Okay, so it's gonna be round here somewhere. There's Bronzong. That's not it. Come on, where are you? Where are you? Got to be round here somewhere. That's not it. That is not it. That's Nida King. That's not it either. That's you, Sheep Man. That's not it either. That's Aerodactyl. That's not it. Just need a Rand male. Come on, where are you? Where are you? I don't not want Nidorina. I'll take these Watts, though. Might as well. Don't know if they're going to have another expansion. They're probably not. Alright, so he's not round it. Let's have a look around and see what else we can find. Oh, Eevee. <laughs> you're not, you're not Verizian, mate. There's a Godot and a Bronzong. Oh, hello! There you are. That was pretty simple to find. Weren't too bad. Let's obviously do a quick save just in case. Hello! It's Verizion, which means for the last four odd parts, people are going to be having a go at me for pronouncing it differently. And wrong. Alright, Verizion, the grass and fighting type Pokemon. Let's go for an Iron Head first off. Brave Bird will probably kill it since it's four times weak to that stuff. So probably best if we don't use Brave Bird, it would absolutely destroy it. Let's go for an Iron Head instead. Okay, that's not bad. Should I start loving balls at it now? I forgot to use my bleeding quick balls. God damn it. Oh, well, okay, we'll try it. We'll try it. One, two, three. Wow! 
<laughs> well, that was quick. That was very quick. Brittany and Saruka D now get level. Uh, you have to get level 80. Brilliant. All right. Fair enough. That was bloody simple. Welcome to the team, Virizion, the Grassland Pokemon. Six foot seven, 440.9 pounds. Legend tells this Pokemon working together with Cabalion and Terrakion to protect the Pokemon of the Univer region. Um. Ugh. Do you know what? I, I, like, I do have one name for a grass fighting type Pokemon, but I use that for Breloom a lot, which is Grass Joe, which I think is just a funny, which is just, just a great name. Screw it. I'm not going to come across a Breloom here, I don't think, so you shall take his name for the time being. You are Grass Joe. Uh, let's have a look at what moves you got, since we didn't really see many of them. Swords Dance, Leaf Blade, Close Combat, Sacred Sword. Fair enough. Um, so it's got good special defense, decent speed, and it has justified. So pretty much just dark type killers. That's exactly what they are. All right, let's send it to the box. Brilliant. That was pretty bloody simple. That was very simple. So Rookie D barely broke a sweat on that. All right, let's go back to Freezington um, and go back to Sonya. Uh, by the way, I know it's only been like maybe a couple of minutes since I last saw you, but I caught it. That Pokemon! I knew it! That's the Grassland Pokemon, Verizian! We did it! This is just amazing! Who's the greatest professor in Galar now? Uh, uh, don't tell my gran I said that, would you? But I couldn't be happier about what we've done here. I hope you'll take this little reward. Yeah, that's more like it! Experient Candy's large! It was all thanks to you, Mastrath, that I was able to prove my theory was correct. Thank you so much. You'd make a first-rate assistant for my work if you weren't already the champion. You know, there's an old legend about Cabalion, Terrakion, and Virazon. It is said that to protect their allies, they wage battle against humans bent on destruction. And ever since then, they've kept themselves apart from humanity. But the fact remains that they agreed to cut to become your Pokemon, Mastra. So I guess maybe they're willing to give humanity another chance. <laughs> it warms your heart a bit, doesn't it? Now then, enough di dithering about. I've got to get back home to write all this up. I'll be seeing you around, Mastra. Don't catch cold in this freezing place. And have fun with your own adventures. Ta very much. Come on, Yamper, you and me are heading home. Ah, oh, little Yamper. Adorable. So cute. Oh, I'll take this Beldum if you don't mind. If you don't want it, I'll have him. But Dumbbell. Dumbbell. God damn it. Give me that. I know there are Metagross out in the wild here, but still, you know, Metagross is one of my favorite Pokemon, so, you know, I would certainly like that. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Back to the Max Lair then, shall we? We're going to, uh... We're going to see Peony. Where is Peony? Is he at the... Whoa! <laughs> Enough of that. Stop. Is he just at, at the Max Lair? He might be. Not too sure. Let's find out. Uh, he is! Hello! Hey there, Chief! Thanks for stopping by! I'm finally getting a little quality family time with my darling Naya, who looks pissed, by the way. Very pissed. Hmm. I dropped something at base camp. Is that really mine? I don't recall ever writing it. Hmm. Hang on. Isn't that the Max Lair there in that clue? Ah! What? Huh? Oh god, the, the children are legging it. What happened? Creatures! A horde of creatures appeared inside the Max Lair! And we don't know if they're Pokemon! What? Has something caused alien beings to appear? Why'd you think they were aliens? They could just be humans. And is this somehow connected to the Ultra Wormhole that opened up briefly in the sky? Whoa! 
Sounds like something new crazy some new crazy things afoot. And you know what that means, Chief? Bet you a new expedition's approaching. And I know just what to call this one. Oh yeah, come on, give me another one. They came from the Ultra Beyond! That's about right. Ha! How'd you like that one, Chief? Anyway, for now, there's your goal. Catch the Pokemon, or whatever. In the photo, on that odd clue. Now get pumped for some more adventuring! Indeed I will. Uh... I've got more down... Okay, you're an ass. Piss off. Um, so how do we do these ones then? Dot, dot, oh, that's, 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 that's just dolls. We, we've had Pokemon helping us out on our investigations too, you know. Good to know. Yeah, go on, we'll do one. Uh, no, I'm not going after Moltres. Let's see if we can get these Ultra Be uh, an Ultra Beast. Dynamax Adventure, lovely. Uh, don't invite others, because just me. Right. Oh, I didn't mean to pick Noctowl. Did I really just pick Noctowl? No! I picked Noctowl. God damn it. Alright, what type's this? Steel. Okay. Ultra Beast. Steel? It could be Kartana. It could be Celesteela. There are a couple it could be, actually. I'm going Grass here because uh, I do have Noctowl. Oh, I actually have one of them turning it. Oh, bloody hell. It's the uh, Elder Goss. The other thing with the big head. All right, Noctowl. I didn't mean to pick you, but never mind. Maybe you'll be good. All right, we could immediately, uh, we could immediately Dynamax it. So that's all right. Sky Attack. Well, okay, no. This thing is absolutely useless, and I want to get it replaced as soon as possible. It has Sky Attack, which is not a great move. Especially not here, so no, I'm definitely getting rid of this Noctowl the moment I get the chance to. The moment I get the chance to, I'll get rid of this Noctowl. Alright. Well, at least I at least I was able to Dynamax it, at least that's good. Psychic by a Lolan Raichu. Fire Blast from Absol, nice. Oh, it's got an Exploud, which is quite good. Max Airstream! Go, Noctowl! Uh, decent damage. I'll take it. I'll take it. Super effective. And... Our speed has increased. Of course it has. Blizzard from Exploud! We actually hit all of those. Max Overgrowth. Who's that hitting? Alolan Raichu. That's fine. That's fine by me. Yeah, that makes the grassy terrain now, doesn't it? Which means everyone gets healing, I think? Yes. That's fine, because Elder Goss on Honest Note doesn't have much in the form of, uh... Alright, right, she's just gonna use electric terrain. Why? Just kill it! Does it matter that it's not the right terrain for you? We be getting healing from that. Another Fire Blast from Absol there, not bad. Uh, max air stream from me. Remember, our speed has been increased. Yeah, we'd have finished it off if that Raichu wasn't such an ass. Right, speed's increased again. Exploud. Blizzard. Missed, of course. Cotton Guard. Okay. That's going to increase your defense drastically, which is fine. Let's go from the max air stream. Psychic. Nearly finished it off. You missed. That's fine. I'll finish it off with Max Airstream. Take that, Eldegoss! Alright. Nice. Eldegoss has been defeated. Right. Um, I don't want to catch this thing. I don't want to catch this thing. Um, so, goodbye. Maybe someone else will. At the moment, we I think we're- I think we're alright with who we got. Okay. So, the person with the Lowland Raichu has decided to use Eldegoss. That's fine. Normal or grass again? Okay, let's go grass again. Because it seemed to work out last time. I encountered a backpacker. Okay, so I can take an item. Expert belt. Uh, a wide lens. A misty seed. Shell bell. Or a psychic seed. I'm going to take the shell bell. 
Shell Bell is a pretty good item. Um, which is nice. Okay. Let us do another battle with another grass type. Maybe it'll be a better grass type than Eldegoss. Who knows? It is Cherub. <laughs> Ow. My ears would have probably hurt from that if I was actually there. All right, Cherim. Cherim. Okay, can I try and put it to sleep? Possibly with Noctowl's moves? Weather Ball. That did bugger all, mate. Blizzard. Nice, one Absol. I'm gonna try and put you to sleep, mate. There you go. Noctowl, maybe not bad. Hyper Beam from x -Bloud. I'm not really sure about that. Leaf Storm, certainly not sure about that. Oh. Oh, it's got a blunders policy. That's all right. All right, let's go for an echoed voice now. Eldegoss uses light screen. Nice. Okay. Cool. That's gonna that's gonna increase our uh, defense. You're still asleep. Noctowl's not bad actually here. On an honest note, if it can hit a hypnosis, pretty much, it's yeah, it's a it's a it's a it's a nice block for us. Prevents us from taking a lot of damage, which is quite nice. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to keep Noctowl around. Noctowl is actually good here. Also, Echoed Voice is actually a pretty nice move as well. Ah, of course. Alright, um... I think we're done here. Yeah, let's go for another Echoed Voice. I mean, Echoed Voice does get more powerful the more you use it. So, it's got that going for it. Which is nice. Cherim is going to get rid of all status, that's fine. Oh wow, and it actually woke itself up with that as well. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> that's alright. Uh, speed's not amazing. Okay, that's fine. A good voice! Nice. That should get me some, some uh, health back. Thanks to the shell bell. Okay. Maybe I want to keep Noctowl, actually. Thinking about it. No Noctowl, Noctowl is starting to show its worth. Fair enough. Alright. Uh, oh, the person with the Absol has taken Cherim instead. Alright, so we've got Psychic, Ground, and Normal. Let's go Psychic on this one. Probably should have gone for Ground, really, shouldn't I? Right, Supplies. Leftovers? Quick Claw? White Herb? Muscle Band? I mean, Leftovers would be quite nice. Yeah. Shell Bell's good, but Leftovers is probably better. All together. Right. Psychic. See what we get here. We get ourselves... Shana. Okay. Shana. Hmm. Alright. Let's go for the forewarn. It's like, oh no! Now I know they've got Hyper Beam. I'm screwed. Cherim's using Solar Beam. That's not amazing. Damn it, Cherim. That good voice by me. It's a little bit of damage. It's just gonna get more powerful. That X Bloud is pretty good. Nice light screen as well from Eldegoss. Okay, fair enough. I have Reflect as well, so that's a nice combination. Expanding Force on me. Okay, well I got leftovers. Noctowls are kind of bulky, so that's that's fine by me. Let's keep going for some Echoed Voices. Let's get some damage in. Solar Beam by Cherim. Decent damage. Echoed voice by me. It's doing more damage now. x must recharge. Elder Goss goes for Leaf Storm. Nice damage there. Yeah, special attack has fallen though quite nicely. Oh god! Noctowl's taking some hits now. He knows the real threat. The real threat is Noctowl. He knows, he knows. Worry Seed. Okay, gets rid of 4-1, replace it with Insomnia. I need that Cherim gone immediately then, because that, that is gonna get bad, because I have Hypnosis. Cotton Guard. All right, so its defense is going up. Doesn't matter anyway, because I'm the one getting hit right now. Yawn. On x -Bloud. Okay. That's not amazing. On oh, no, honest note, that is not amazing at all. 
Alright, I can now Dynamax. Brilliant. Okay, I probably want to keep going with the Echoed Voice, though. I don't need a Dynamax here. Sunny Day! Okay. Well, Solar Beams are a lot better now. Fair enough. It's now Sunny! Flower Gift! Oh, we got... Yeah, Cute Cherim! Cute Cherim is out! In force! Yeah, Echoed Voice is becoming very powerful now. Leaf Storm! Nah, that didn't do much. Alright, he's gonna get one more shot off, I think. Okay, just removing stats. That's... That's actually fine! That is... Not... That's not fine. <laughs> that's not fine at all. Ah, well, okay. We got the Misty Terrain up, I think. Battlefield got weird. And I'll just try and keep healing up my Knock Towel right now. Ah, x is asleep. Okay, one more Echoed Voice should finish this off. Cherim's gonna go for the Solar Beam, and he's gonna get that off in the first turn, because of the fact that the sun's up. Solar Beam! Nice. He beat Mashana. So Mashana had some decent moves on it, but no, do you know what? I'm keeping with Knock Towel. I'm keeping with Knock Towel. As long as that Cherim doesn't screw it over for me, we should be all right. Okay, someone took Mashana. Nice. Right, what's this going to be? Steel. If it's going to be an Ultra Beast... It is! It's Kartana. Okay. It's Kartana. Right, this thing has got amazing attack. Pretty decent speed. This thing could be a problem. It's got Leaf Blade as well. This thing could be a massive problem. Let's try and put it to sleep immediately. Air Cutter. Oh, God! Okay. I didn't do much damage, which is good. Did get a lot of crits, though. Right, Sunny Day for Cherim. That's okay. I guess. Problem is a lot... Really... I don't know really who could actually deal good damage to this thing, bar me. Right, let's try and put this thing to sleep. Don't use Worry Seed. Don't be that idiot to use Worry Seed. Cotton Guard, okay. Just increasing your defenses. We, we need to hit this thing at some point. We do need to hit this thing. Expanding Force. Good damage there from Mashana. I'm going to get some health back. Good old Knock Towel. Hopefully I can Dynamax soon. Dean can Dynamax now. Okay, let's put a Reflect up as well. Kartana's fast asleep. That's brilliant. Cherim uses Weather Ball! Ho oh, ho! Oh, what a move there from Cherim! Cherim! With the Weather Ball on the Steel Grass type Pokemon! Ouch! Oh, Elder Goss has it as well! Oh, Kartana, you just got absolutely screwed right there. Wow, okay. Nice job. Cherim and Eldegoss, the, the two that I were, I was the most worried about when it comes to this guy, had, they both had Weather Ball. Which, since it's Sunny Day, it means it's a Fire-type move. Kartana is Steel and Grass-type. So he got absolutely dicked on with that one. Fair enough. And we got ourselves a lovely Kartana! Yay! One of the Ultra Beasts. Brilliant. One of the later ones you can get, actually, in uh, Sun and Moon. I will take Kartana. Yes, thank you very much. I will certainly take Kartana. We get some Dynite Ore as well. Nice. Reach the innermost area. Investigate the den. Uh, caught a very special Pokemon. Complete the adventure safely. Nice. And we want to give Kartana a nickname. Yes, of course we do. And I'm going to call you... Well, you're thin. You're bloody sharp. And you're small as hell, so I'm going to call you Paper Cut. Yay! Let's have a look at Paper Cut quickly. Because this thing is, as you can see, a bit of a monster. Look at that attack. 308 attack. And it's got Lonely Nature, which means it boosts its attack even more. It has the ability Beast Boost. The Pokemon boosts its most proficient stat each time it knocks out a Pokemon. In this case, attack. Essentially, it's Moxie for Katana. It's got Vacuum Wave, Air Cutter, Leaf, da uh, Leaf Blade, and Swords Dance. Very nice. I'll send you the box in the moment. Paper Cut. There you go. We did it, though. 
We beat the ultra. We beat one of the ultra beasts. Very nice. Well done defeating that tough opponent. I hope we'll see you soon. I'm sure you will. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go for a break here. But in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sword: The Crown Tundra, the final episode, there is one more Pokemon that we can catch, which doesn't include the Max Layer, because I'm not gonna be catching all the legendaries in the Max Layer. We'll be here all day. But there is one other Pokemon that we can get at the moment. So, we'll go and get that and finish off the expansion. I'll see you then.